The Inferno, considered to be the hardest solo PVM challenge in all of RuneScape, consisting of 69 waves, with each wave increasing in difficulty from the last. One lag, one mistake, or one misclick will likely result in death, wiping away hours of progress, setting you back to the start of wave one. But if you manage to defeat the boss Zuck on wave 69, you will be awarded with an Infernal Cape netting the best in-slot melee stats in the game and as well the respect of other players. Obtaining an Infernal Cape has been a goal of mine for quite some time. The only question now is, do I have what it takes? Hello YouTube. Welcome to my new home that is known as the Inferno. Today, I will be getting my Inferno Cape. I don't care how long it takes, I don't care how difficult it is, I can do this. No matter how many times I fall on my face, I'm going to get back up and get this cape. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So on my 18th attempt, I finally managed to clear the waves, and all that was left were the three boss fights, Wave 67 Jad, Wave 68 Triple Jad, and Wave 69 the boss himself Zuck. So this is how my first attempt at Jad went. Unbelievable. This time I didn't plank on Jad and I made it to my very first attempts of triple Jads and here's how that went. Jad clear, I forgot to hit the log out button, which means my Inferno didn't pause after I killed Jad. So Triple Jad started instantly, 
I didn't have it recorded, but I immediately died because I panicked. Failure. That's so ass. Did I not click it? I had it. So, after 31 attempts, I managed to read suck zero times. Frustration is at an all time high. However, I become better at clearing waves 1 through 66. And the only thing that lied between me and Zuck was those pesky triple jads. I just needed to figure out how to do that. And then I could figure out how to beat Zuck. And then I can get my infernal cape. I made it to Zuck! <laughs> oh, Failure! I fucking hate this game. Ow! Ow! Oh. Nope. I'm dead. Failure. I got greedy. It was so good too. I should have just fucking. Uh... Wow. What the? F Dude, oh no, I wasn't paying attention. 
No, dude, I wasn't fucking paying attention. How did I not tick eat that either? What the fuck? Who the hell is this guy? After 47 grueling attempts consisting of lag, misclicks, and mistakes, I have managed to reach Zuck 7 times. On my 7th Zuck attempt, I managed to clear the Jad phase of the Zuck fight only to die to a set later on in the fight. Despite this, I know it is only a matter of time before I beat Zuck and get the Infernal Cape because I am clearing the waves without using too much supplies more consistently, and I am able to beat the Triple Jad wave now with relatively zero issues. The only question now is on what attempt will I beat RuneScape's hardest solo PVM challenge, the Inferno. No, 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 please, please, no, oh my fucking god, no. Fucking suck.
care how long it takes, I don't care how difficult it is, I can do this. No matter how many times I fall on my face, I'm going to get back up and get this cape. Yes! I fucking did! Oh my god! Yes! I got the Infernal Cape! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, it's finally fucking done! Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! oh. Yes! Yes! It's finally freaking over! <laughs> Oh my god! Thank you, RNGesus, Jesus, for tanking all the lag at this garbage internet! Oh my god! Oh, it's over! I can play the game again! Yes! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yes! Oh, holy f- Oh my god! Wow! All right, I'm going to take a break. All right, guys, I've uh, definitely calmed down a bit. It is still unreal that I've beaten this, and um, I'm going to tell you the time it took me to beat this. It took over 135 hours for me to actually beat this. And uh, if you convert that to days, it's five days and 15 hours, over five days and 15 hours. And if you want to convert it to minutes, that's over 8,080 minutes. Now, I probably could have done it sooner if I had better luck or better connection at times. Um, but anyway, so let me just say the gear setup that I ended up beating it with. Uh, I, I definitely switched it up because, well, it wasn't working. I needed more inventory space, for example. So I got rid of the Occult. Um, just ACB setup with Armadell and Justice here, Face Guard, Crystal Shield. And then blowpipe, obviously. And then I didn't have a code eye, so I'd use the master one. I used Aram's robe, so my mage was definitely like lacking a bit. It was a uh, yeah budget setup was complete because I didn't have a Tebow, but yeah, it was sort of a budget setup. And uh, here's the stats that I ended up with. And yeah, as you can see, there's other stats besides combat stats that have been leveled up since like the last time I've shown it. That's just because. While I wasn't doing the Inferno, I was just doing other things off to the side. And I have some of that recorded, so you'll see it next episode. But uh, yeah, the game plan for the next episodes is to max out the combat and I think go for max. But anyway, dude, I'm super thrilled I got this Inferno cape. I honestly didn't know if I'd ever get it. And here it is. It looks sick. Oh, this guy must have just died. Either that or he got it. It looks like he's heading to the bank. I think he died. Well, let's see what... You know what? We're investigating this guy. Yeah, he hasn't got it yet. Good luck to him. All right, so my final remarks on this. Will I ever do the Inferno again? Um, I would say maybe, but it'd be only if I were on a Slayer task or had a Twisted Bow or a Bofa. And my other thing I'm going to say to end the video is if you ever want to do something and it just seems impossible... Don't give up, keep pushing through, and just keep trying because one day it'll happen. And when it happens, it'll feel sweet, man. It'll feel so good. That's going to do it for today. I hope everyone is having a great day. Bye, YouTube.